today. Why drive on the left? Why drive on the left? Why do we drive on the right? These are these are some of the questions. Is it is it safer one way? Is is it date back a certain date? You know, I I would like to know everything. So I think only a handful of countries do drive on the left side. Um, it is it is definitely funky going to a country that does drive on the left side and. Um, I'm sure you know. Same over here. When you when you come to the U.S. Anyways, let's just uh, let's just jump in here. Let's let's figure out why it is the history about it, um, and how how kind of the rest of the world, the majority of the world, adopted driving on the right hand side. Anyways, before I keep talking, let's do this thing. If you're if you have ever visited the UK, it is hard to miss the fact that they drive on the left. This can be quite disorienting, as around 65% of the world drives on the right. I was way wrong with that, actually. I thought only a handful of countries drove on the left-hand side compared to the right. Have you ever wondered why this is? Why did the UK and most of its former colonies choose to drive on the left? The answer is a rather long and complicated one. Let us explain. Real quick, is India left or is it right? I've... For starters, it should be noted that the practice of driving on the left even predates cars. It all started in the Middle Ages and perhaps even further back to in ancient Greece and Rome. During those times, there was always the risk of being attacked while traveling. Since most people are right-handed, they tended to travel on the left to keep their sword fighting hand free in hmm. case of attack. Swordsmen preferred to keep to the left so their right arm would be nearer to an opponent. This also reduced the chance of the scabbard hitting other people. It was also safer to mount and dismount towards the side of the road rather than in the middle of traffic. There is some evidence that this practice of riding on the left may have even gone as far as ancient Greece and Rome. And that wasn't the only case of people traveling to the left. For instance, in 1300 AD, Pope Boniface VIII declared that all pilgrims traveling to Rome should keep to the left. So how did people ever switch to the right? I mean, that all sounds logical so far. So, you know, most people in general in the world, I don't think there's really a country that's like, oh, most people are left-handed, so it's going to be the opposite effect. Sounds right to me so far. Sounds logical. I see Napoleon, I believe. And yeah, definitely Napoleon and the French... Probably attacking Austria, who knows? Well, it turns out Napoleon preferred to ride on the right, and so did Hitler. In fact, Hitler forced Czechoslovakia and Austria to switch to right-hand driving. Hmm. However, since Britain resisted both Napoleon and Hitler, the country never switched That's an understatement. to the right. One country that did not have to make the switch, however, was America. Although the U.S. likely started out riding on the left, as in England, the country has been driving on the right side of the road since colonial times. At that time, the country saw the use of large wagons that were drawn by several pairs of horses. These wagons had no driver's seat, and the driver sat on the horse at the... In this video, these, these scenes that you're seeing are, you know, of course, probably, obviously you know, old video, but they're like, yeah, a hundred years old of, you know, when, when film cameras were first coming around motion pictures, film cameras, um, this is like real footage. I've looked up, you know, a hundred years ago, or, or is it something like, you know, 1911 and, and stuff like that. You could look at Germany and, you know, Paris and, uh, England, New York and stuff. And you just, just type that in YouTube. It's very fascinating, super fascinating. And just like, look at everyone. It's, this is footage from that. I recognize some of it. Rear left. Driving to the right meant the driver could see oncoming traffic, and it also made it less likely they would steer into a ditch. Although this has been the practice since colonial times, it was until 1792 and 1804 respectively that Pennsylvania and New York made it official by regulating it. Many states then followed their example, but the practice yeah. was cemented when Henry Ford put the Model T's steering wheel on the left-hand side of the car. Mm -hmm. The mass production of affordable cars then saw many countries change their rules of the road. Meanwhile, in the UK, the massive wagons of the US weren't popular. Instead, vehicles in Britain were smaller and had seats for the driver to sit on behind the horses. 
As most people are right-handed, the driver would sit to the right of the seat in order to keep his whip hand free. This ensured that people kept driving to the left. In addition, 18th century London saw the introduction of a traffic law to make all vehicles on London Bridge keep to the left. This was in an effort to reduce collisions. The rule was then incorporated into the Highway Act of 1835 and was later adopted throughout the UK, making left-hand driving mandatory in Britain. The 20th century saw an attempt to harmonize road laws in Europe, leading to a shift in right-hand driving, but that didn't affect the UK. Today, there are around 78 countries and territories that drive on the left. It's a lot. I mean, aren't there like 198 countries or so somewhere along that lines? I think every country has a, a different uh, different take on that, depending on multiple things. But that, I mean, that, that all sounds logical to me, really. I mean, there's nothing where I'm like questioning, really, or, or blown away, even back to the medieval times, the medieval uh, periods, and, and before that, you know, Romans and, and the Greeks and all that stuff. It, it all sounded logical to me. Uh, but yeah, 78 countries that still drive on the left is way more. That, that's something I learned way more than I thought. Uh, I wonder what the reasoning why Henry Ford with his you know production lines and all that stuff. Uh, like what's his reasoning for putting it on the left side compared to the right, the steering wheel? Because I feel like that really, yeah, cemented it in the US to drive how we drive on the on the right hand side. That is a busy, busy London Bridge, which I think is in Nevada now, if that's the same one that they took over to in Nevada here. It is a good thing. You know, most people, when you travel there, when you travel to a left driving country, yeah, it is. it takes some time to get used to the driving. Um, and it's important to look correctly instead of, you know, you're walking out into a street and you look left, you have to look right instead. So I bet there's a lot of, a lot of uh, bad things that happen with, you know, Americans and, and people from right driving countries that go to left driving countries. And they, you know, I even seen signs saying like, don't look, you know, don't look this way, look that way instead, because we're in a left driving country. I've seen pictures of that at least in, in uh in the uk i don't know how popular it is but it's very true i mean you learn growing up oh look look before you cross the street but like why would you look the other way here so um yeah just just like a fascinating thing but this was very logical to me to the point made sense i'd like to know your thoughts on it and it seems like driving on the left is historically as in hundreds of years old more correct were more popular around the world and it made more sense um, until I guess apparently Ford you know put it on the, the, the left side the steering wheel and then the rest is history thanks for joining thanks for hopefully learning something with me as well as always and uh, as always once again have a good rest of your day drive safe look look the correct way look both ways look all the ways look up and down too who knows <laughs>